Hi, it's Janet here from Green Urban Living. Today I'm going to do a very short video on toxic honey. So this is for the fellow New Zealand beekeepers out here. Now, what I'm holding here is a, is a branch of tutu. This is a New Zealand native shrub that is quite common in places like um, Gisborne and the Coromandel and also around Hawke's Bay too. Um, and as you see, it's quite a sort of attractive shrub in its own right. It's got glossy green leaves with quite a prominent vein running through them. The leaves are opposite each other on the branch and it's got some pendulous flowers here too which it produces at the end of summer. It's quite a large shrub. It grows to around sort of three to four meters high and you find it in shrubby sort of land so um, places like roadside cuttings and re regenerating bush it's quite common to find it there. Um, I actually picked up this this branch here on the um, Napier Talco Road where it grows you know, quite, it's quite common there. Now the problem with this native bush is that firstly it's poisonous to stock so farmers will try and eradicate it from their farm but the other thing is that um, the passion vine hopper which is a little insect with sort of lacy wings will feed off this plant and when it feeds off it it produces honeydew which is a sticky sappy um, exudate that honeybees will feed off. Now they're more likely to feed off this honeydew in summer when there's a, when there may be not be enough um, other food sources around. So they'll come to the plant and they'll they'll feed off the honeydew and they'll take it back to their hive. And when they turn this honeydew into honey, it produces a toxin, a neuro, neurotoxin, which is very poisonous and even deadly to humans. Um, so the way to avoid this is to avoid eating comb honey over the months of middle of December to, to March. Um, and also if the weather's been very, very dry, there hasn't been a lot of rain, there's more chance that there's honeydew has stayed on the branches and hasn't been washed off with the rain. Um, you can get your honey tested for honey for um, the tutin toxic honey, um, and obviously commercial beekeepers that sell their honey do that. Um, so really, if you live in areas like Gisborne, Hawke's Bay, the Coromandel in particular, and you live around bush areas which the tutin may be growing, really important to be aware of the toxic honey over the December. To March months, so all those summer months. I'll just show you show you again a close up of what it looks like. Thanks for watching. That's Janet from Green Urban Living.